we're going to turn our attention now to the closing stages of the men's singles because this one is going down to the wire. As you can see, it's 3-2. The Jackaroos leading. And Channel McElroy's just helped the Australian cause. Look at that lineup. New Zealand's best singles player, Canada's best singles player. Teaming up. It's frightening. <laughs> yeah, I'd expect to see a lot of these matches, you know, played to such a low scoring game, you know, the 3 2 going up in the last end here. So it doesn't surprise me, and I think there'll be many more, many more sets that have similar score lines. So, Clive, just for. Those watching on, obviously we've been covering the other match. Just step us through this second set and, and how we've got to where we are. Yeah, well, certainly um, it's it's really been it's been nip and tuck. It's been one each uh, for the first three ends, and then uh, Australia grabbed a two on the fourth end to lead three shots to two. But looking looking at the match, it's been there's been big hits going on. There's been big draw shots with the last bowl. So uh, you know. We still could have a, uh, a big finish right now. Could come down to one ball. We've got just the players to do it. This is a really important match, this one. Especially from an Australian point of view. They had a, a bit of a buffer. Just going down in the women's pairs. Ryan needs to make a, an alteration of some kind here just to give himself a chance. The yellow bowls belong to Australia. The orange bowls, you can see out there, are rest of the world bowls. And Aaron Sheriff, the man that you've come up against plenty of times, Darren. Yeah, Aaron's a quality player. You know, I always enjoy my battles with him. You know, he's, he's been one of Australia's best players for a number of years now. He's not going to give you any cheap shots. You've got to earn them. He should be trying to get another one in here because he, he will be aware he's only got one ball in. I think best there's just the man to pick it out. He missed his opportunity here. He's narrow. Well, he's, he's probably covered the ball. That's the only thing that's went in his favour. He's made it harder, but. Ryan can somehow make a contact and onto the short ball and get it out of there without taking too much of his own. He's got a chance here. Now what's the best shot available for Ryan here? I think Ryan will go quick at this. You know, he might try and put that yellow ball in the front of Alan Sheriffs that's just come in. He might try and land up onto the other yellow one and just hope he gets the two of them out clean. He, if he's a wee bit underneath, he could put Shannon's orange ball onto it just as easy. It's so difficult to try and play a timing shot. I just feel you might want to go quick at this. Long consultation. Fair bit on the line here. They can split this third round. Australia and the rest of the world, but the visitors have got the chance to win both matches. And Ryan Bester. Tight on the centre line. He doesn't seem all that keen on it. Australia hang on in a thriller. 